don't feel like I'm superior to them in any way that we're all here together. We need to uh, treat the smallest form of life the same as we treat our own form of life. Supreme Master Ching Hai cheerfully presented the Shining World Compassion Award to Mr. Larson, plus a loving contribution of 15,000 U.S. dollars for this love-filled noble work in God's mercy. May heaven shield you always as you protect others. Shining World Compassion Award recipient Al Larson, the Bluebird Man. Continue watching to learn more. Affable viewers, nice to meet you. I'm Natasha. The courageous people of Christmas Island wish you abundant health and happiness. Everywhere in the world, we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths, and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Even loving, caring animals contribute also in this noble category. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated to commend virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples. Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligence Award, and Shining World Invention Award, etc. These awards are to recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring, and courageous people who walk amongst us, as well as heroic, beautiful animal co-inhabitants whose acts are worthy of praises and gratitude. Welcome to our show today, Shining World Compassion Award recipient, L. Larson, the Bluebird Man. Bluebirds symbolize wealth and prosperity and are also seen as spiritual messengers that herald joy and prosperity. If a bluebird appears in your life, it is believed that you will be successful, happy, and your family will enjoy good health. In North America, due in part to increasing nesting competition from other species, these little birds declined in population between the 1950s and 1970s. Fortunately, there have been some people who worked tirelessly to help bluebird populations recover. In southwest Idaho, United States, lives 96 years young L. Larson, lovingly known as the Bluebird Man. L. was one of the first citizen scientists to dedicate time and effort to preserving these precious birds. He now travels more than 5,000 miles each summer to monitor bluebird nest boxes he built and installed across five counties in the state. We are lucky to have an exclusive interview with Mr. L. Larson, the Bluebird Man. I got started working with the bluebirds here at the ranch. My wife and I were hiking up on the hills one day and, and saw a pair of western bluebirds going in and out of a, an old woodpecker hole. I uh, put up several boxes here at the ranch and and uh, sure enough, I've got some bluebirds. And then one day I was on a field trip with the Audubon Society and um, we went out to the Owyhees, the Owyhee Mountains. And I noticed up on the hillside uh, 
there was a loose flock of bluebirds. And I thought, this would be a good place to put some nest boxes up. So I went out to the Owyhees um, and put up 25 boxes out there. And sure enough, the next spring, I had about a third of the boxes with, with uh, bluebirds. Well, the, the second year, about two thirds of the boxes were used by bluebirds. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'd put up some more boxes. So uh, each year that went along, I put up a few more boxes until I had about 150 boxes. Audubon started a bluebird trail up in the Prairie area in Elmore County, and they set up 29 boxes. I started monitoring those boxes, and they were so successful that I um, put up more boxes and more boxes, and I had close to 150 up there. I, I put some boxes up in Jim County and also in Valley County. After 40 years, Elm now monitors and maintains about 350 nest boxes for bluebirds. He also watches over the other stages of bluebird breeding, including egg laying, hedging and fledging. When the chicks are old enough, he gives each a uniquely numbered federal aluminium big band. I got a license from the Federal Wildlife Service to ban birds, and uh, I've been banding birds ever since. With my 41 years of bluebird proprietorship, mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've banded Oh, close to 30,000 birds. I like to hold my hand out and re reflect of how many birds have, have uh, passed over that hand. There's thousands and thousands of them. Elm shared with us that beyond the remarkable success of his Bluebird project, introducing younger generations to the Oahi Mountains, where he spent much of his own childhood, is the ultimate inspiration to continue his work. He invites youngsters to go with him on field trips, along with the Bluebird Trails, to instill in them a love of nature and develop future stewardship for the Bluebirds. As far as the Bluebird fame is concerned, I didn't start working with the Bluebirds for looking for fame. I uh, did it just because I, I like the birds. And they're just one of the many hundreds, thousands of species of birds out there. But uh, the Bluebirds seem to attract me and, and they're one of my favorites. When I lead field trips out to the Bluebird trails, I sometimes have uh, young young people along and when I'm banding the birds I uh, will sometimes hand a nestling to a, a youngster to hold it, it just thrills them no end I would like to have the young people uh, just get out and enjoy life enjoy the the uh, wildlife that you come in contact with viewers, we will now pause in gratitude to the Divine for always taking care of all beings on planet Earth. When we return, Mr. L. Larson will receive the Shining World Compassion Award for his extraordinary devotion to Bluebird Protection. Please stay with us here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show highlighting the Bluebird Man, Mr. L. Larson from Idaho, USA. His wonderful efforts have made a substantial contribution in helping to restore the Bluebird population over the years. Here is our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai's response upon learning of his amazing life work. From Supreme Master Ching Hai for Al Larson, Bluebird protector, wildlife photographer, 
in recognition of life dedicated to the protection and conservation of bluebirds, inspiring kindness, nobility, and nurturing the community spirit with compliments and gratitude for your compassionate and benevolent commitment to saving precious animal lives. On May 28, 2019, our association members from California, United States were honored to present the award as well as master's publications, DVDs, and gifts to Mr. Larson. Dear Mr. Larson, it is with great admiration and gratitude that we present to you the Shining World Compassion Award for saving dwindling bluebird populations. This award is presented in recognition of your benevolence, rebuilding wildlife habitat, ensuring the survival of a national treasure, which can be enjoyed by many generations to come. Over a 40 year period after retirement, you have built, set up, and monitored over 350 birdhouses spread across five bluebird trails in five counties throughout Southwest Idaho as the natural habitat of birds have been decimated. During the summer breeding period, you travel about 5,000 miles to check on and record your outstanding conservation efforts, which have yielded amazing results, a substantial contribution in helping to restore the bluebird population. Over the years, you have banded over 27,000 birds for national tracking and designed and built their cavity bird homes since bluebirds cannot make their own. They must rely on other animals or a saintly human like you, Al. Your inspirational efforts have shown us that if we are still and can look at the needs of an endangered species, a simple and affordable solution will appear, like a gift from heaven. You have also shown the hidden gifts animals have to share with us, peace, happiness, longevity, and abundant love. For being an unparalleled lifesaver, for highlighting the simple joy of being in harmony with nature, and for being a dedicated, noble role model. We hereby applaud and celebrate the great compassionate deeds of Mr. Al Larson. May heaven shield you always as you protect others. With great honor, love, and blessings in God's grace, I'm Supreme Master Ching Hai. Well, I, I just want to thank uh, the Supreme Master for the attention that she has given my uh, endeavors. Just being out with the bluebirds for a short time, I just got to love them just like, well, like my creator, I guess. <laughs> I, I just enjoy being out with the, with the birds and, and uh, enjoy all the wildlife. A crystalline clock and monetary contribution from our beloved Supreme Master were also presented to the dedicated wildlife protector. One more little thing is the donation from Supreme Master Ching Hai. Um, she cheerfully presents Al Larson with the Shining World Compassion Award, as we mentioned, plus 15,000 US dollars for his love filled noble work in God's mercy. And may heaven shield you always as you protect others. So, thank you very much. I guess all I can say is thank you again. Mm. <laughs> it's uh, something mm. that I, I had never ever dreamed of. So uh, I thank everyone, everyone that was con uh, involved in this. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy, and or any good cause over the years, as a humble vessel for his compassion and love toward his precious children. The kind-hearted senior shared with us his strong belief in heaven's grace, his beautiful love for precious animal friends and for all living beings on the planet as well. Lately, I've been thinking that when I die, I've entered heaven. All my worries, all my fears, pains and aches will be gone. And I will have entered heaven. I don't know if animals worry about going to heaven or not. I guess uh, the ultimate reason for anything being alive is to reproduce and, and just keep the spark of life going. 
our sincere congratulations to Mr. L. Larson on receiving the Shining World Compassion Award. What the dedicated 96 years young nature lover has done for the bluebird population is incredible. May the divine bless you and all involved abundantly for your benevolent spirit and devotion to protecting the delightful creatures. Warm-hearted viewers, thank you for joining us on today's program. Coming up next is Love and Forgiveness, Part 2 or 4, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. With heaven's grace, may all beings on this planet be enlightened and uplifted. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash SWA. Mm -hmm.